Hello, I'm pleased to share with you the first of two California trip videos we made. While I'm drinking coffee from my Queen Mary mug, that's part of the uh, visit out there, with my snickerdoodle coffee from Obi and his family in the earlier Cybernaut video. You'll see when he presented that to me. Well, we decided to visit with Gene Lewin the arcade game superstore because it was so close to another visit of uh, some folks that had uh, reconditioned in Austin Powers for we stopped by there and he was so close I said hey let's make a video and I think we came up with a pretty good one Tammy my daughter filmed and my wife Pam and Terry were also there you have to have the whole family and we got a terrific tour here we go now, how could I not come out here to California without a trip to Jean's Vintage Arcade Superstore? And look, a visitor from what town? Riverside, California, Paul Dean. Paul is from, you might see him at Richie Knuckles Arcade too, because he gets around. I get around. He's, he's actually a collector, right? Yes, that's my game right there. He just bought a Cruising Exotica. Oh, nice. He didn't buy it from me. <laughs> gong, 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 gong. And look, here's another hand. What's That's this smash going to be? It's like a, uh, an empty Looks like cabin. it's an empty it cabin. Looks like game could be a Galaga. Could be a Pac-Man. A, a minty, minty multi-game Pac-Man could be anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. should we go in and see Gene? Certainly. Certainly. Let's, Let's go in. We'll Let's follow see. you. Let's see if he's in his office. Daytonas. Millipedes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. And I, just cleverly, office. That's where you, that sign tells you everything. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is special. Here. Well, yeah, there's a lot of little... No, no, right here. This is not a dumping ground. Gene, this is not a dumping ground. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 See? Fine. I do remember Finally. seeing you at the front. Right. I do. I'm Tammy. Hi, nice I was the daughter. baby at the uh, event that you attend when uh, during time okay. 1996. Terry. That's my She's sister, the Terry. Baby. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, let me see. So oh, wait a minute, I know what this is. This is to put under the cart to raise it up so you can play it. Right? No, so you can lift it off the floor. Because some games sit lower. Some are shorter. The oh, oh, I thought you were going to put it under the hand and then it lifts it up higher so you can play the game and test. We use a 2 by 4 that way, too. The guy you can use it to hit people over the head bang, with. Bang, bang, That's what they'd rather do with it. I love that, I love that. Were you talking to Paul? Yeah, we were talking. Yeah, we're just yeah, gonna I, go. I, I brought them in. What? What is this game? I've never seen this artwork Voltan. before. A Voltan. Wow, I've never seen a Voltan. I'm gonna brought this for repair. It, I think it belongs to Nicholas Cage. Wow. Wow. Um, he bought it from. I don't know how he got it. Wow. Yeah, there, there can't be many. It's some pretty. It's pretty beat up and not working and. Well, I, well, you can, you'll take. You are gonna change that, right? Yes. Do you know how? You know, notice the chrome. I, I, you know somebody chromed that? it. Who? You know who does that, right? Who's doing it? Herb Silvers. Herb. Herb. Herb did this for the for probably for Nicholas Cage, and he chromed it. Yeah, dude, that's, that's his trademark. It's apart. Did it yeah. did it get wet? Maybe the head looks like it's been wet or something. It actually has termites in it. Bum 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 bum. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage termites. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh good lord. Well, he got some play out of it. The play field's got quite a bit of wear on it. So he must have played the daylights out of this after Herb sold it to him. Now only at the Superstore are you going to find a six player, a six cartridge Neo Geo cart sitting on top of a super rare Voltan. Owned, oh. by, owned by Nicolas Cage. Owned by Nicolas Cage. Just makes but it even better. great stuff in here. Oh yeah. Some mechanicals. <laughs> and television sets. <laughs> I always try to squeeze in that word right there. I always try to television squeeze in sets. Television sets. And lots of them. Look, turtles. Very ready. It's very light burning. Good. Yep. He, uh, we prize our monitors, don't we? Yes. See, Gene and things. I like picture tubes. Yeah. Picture tubes. Yes, we, we, we thrive on picture tubes. Yes. And I found a place that I put them outside of my building. And people, re they pick them up for recycling. So I don't have to pull anybody in. Right. Oh, so I just great. line them up outside of my building and they take them. It's really great. I had trouble because places find out that the state, California, won't pay them for arcade monitors. 
Really? I don't know why. So I have, I have to keep switching recyclers. <sighs> Fortunately, I don't. I they, they come to me, and it's so far so good. And look, new paint. Oh yeah, they're doing complete refurbs. This is a Kung Fu Master plan. Yeah. Was it in this cabinet? No. Oh, okay. I don't this have was a, a centipede. That's a centipede, okay. definitely. That was a centipede. Yeah. It was already converted, though. So he, he didn't do anything it. bad. I wouldn't sacrifice point. a centipede. No, centipede is worth more money. <laughs> and where can you find a Superman with the top part of a driving game sitting on top of it? <laughs> Actually, At least a, he's got the legs marked. This is a time crisis. Oh. Time, oh, yeah, I saw the back legs. Oh, this is the time crisis. That's okay. okay. The Japanese Time Crisis Atari Superman, all in one place. Gene, I've got to tell you something about your shop. It is so much cleaner than mine. Really? <laughs> That's surprising. He's got, and look, you're doing a beautiful restoration. Look, look. Yep, he does just what we do. You gotta get down to the basics. And she knows what she's doing, I can tell already. See how she's taped it it's all a paper off. Paper boy. So she can paint the white around the edge. Yeah. Okay. Smart and there you go. You gotta do it. And and then Operation Wolf is probably gonna go through the same I, I chart. Wow. Great idea. Check and it there's off. the due date. It's better be done or somebody's <laughs> head's gonna roll. <laughs> we have got a new overlay for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, somebody makes them now. Look yeah. at this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this old game? No, this came from somebody else. I don't know if they make that one. It's beautiful because the original wood one was always nice. You painted this up. It's beautiful. And is this original? Oh, no, it's a new one. This yeah. is a new one with a sticker. They all get scratched here. Oh, they my. They are so true. Every single one scratched. Oh, graffiti. So. No, no, scratches yeah, from the guns. Oh, so. because it hits. The gun it hits, hits. Oh, the flex. Now, I don't understand why this game is in somebody's house by now. Right. right. It must be broken. Oh, okay. It just came back. No, I bought oh, it from this guy. Oh, from Alan Katz. Okay, from 1993. So this is homies only. Wow. But it Whoa. should have been sold by now. It's not. It's not working. Actually, the battery's leaked up and ate, the, ate up the board. That's it. You should call the clod hopper that put the double A batteries in. We actually had a customer insist that we leave the batteries in this game, the double A, because it's original. Right. I said, yeah, and you're going to have the original battery acid on it. Authentic. It already leaked. It already leaked. They once. do. And uh, I told him, I said, if it leaks again, you'll have to buy a new board. Yep. This is a prototype Doctor Who. Uh, it moves. Wow. That, that I bought brand new. There's only a hundred. You bought it new? I bought it brand new. Wow. Only a hundred of these exist, and the head moves. But it's not one of the kits that you can yeah, buy to put in. What away. year does this go up to? 93? 93? 94? Okay. What game is I'm that? surprised they haven't, do a, uh, they haven't created a... Um, well, a new one around. for the new updated Doctor Who. So everybody loves now that. That's a lot. Of, I'll bet Gene has this so, because he's going to use these layers. That's sockets. from Titanic. Okay. I, I bought a Titanic for the logic boards. And for these beautiful... Uh, when it had all LEDs in it. There's like over 200 LEDs. Uh, but no, I bought this brand new when I had my arcades. And I'm keeping it. I'm not selling it. Good. So it's the prototype Idea. of the things back and forth. Well, it's right now I would say you could get 45 for it. Right? Probably, yeah. yeah. Probably more because it's a prototype. 4,500 or 45,000? No, 4,500. No. Okay. We, we I was reached, like, there's a difference. Nothing's reached the, the, that mark except for Big Bang Bar. Right. So. There's some of my games I'm saving. There's a Star Trek Valley that I bought brand new. Look at the, that's the original paint. Look at the colors are so bright. There's oh, wow. Flying carpet, which I bought probably 30 years ago. And it, well, there's a kiss below it. Right, that needs a lot of repurposing. Well, you could, it could be done There's a fireball that. there that I wanted at one of the Las Vegas pinball shows. And you kept it. Yeah, I'm See, it. now look, now, this proves that Gene is sentimental <laughs> on top of a preservation yeah. right? Yeah, Absolutely. He cares. See, I have, I have games I'd never sell, but well, for the right price I would. <laughs> so I have my very first pinball, Jumping Jack. Jump, do you have it back here? It's right here. I bought it when I was 19. 19. And look, it still has the push to start button. Because I've, I've rented it a few times. Okay. <laughs> we all succumb to yeah. rentals. Don't okay. Right now. now, Pam, do you think this place is just as clean as mine? Yes. At least he knows where everything is. 
You see, Jean, a lot of times all she does to me is just say, she hits me in the stomach and she puts me in the eye. Oh, there you go. Right. See, she does that. See me. Their little comedy, <laughs> their little comedy three <laughs> stooges act. Now Terry, Terry's been exposed to games all her life. What do you think of the shop here? Beautiful. Where's the upstairs? Oh, she said, well, well, the ups. Actually, Gene is lucky here. He's got these. These. He's able to get outside sunlight in here to light yeah. the place. Like that, a barn. That assists. Yeah. Almost like a barn. That does assist. See, there's there's shelves of old control panels. But do you have problems? See, with I used to have arcade. How about your roof? A little bit. I've had it prepared. You have bucket. He has buckets. Um, we, we have the bucket system. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when I had my arcades, I converted games and I kept the old original parts. Pack now, is that your original that home stereo right there? It it's a, I guessed it! I guessed it! You couldn't part with it. No, I guess not. <laughs> I, I, I use it when I had my arcades. When I had my arcades, I used it in the arcades. Uh, I, it still and works. it still works. I, right, throw throw and, and I had somebody works. come that collects vintage receivers and told me it's actually worth a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Gene is going to show us the showroom. Oh, you have it. Okay. Black thing. Black hole. Ooh. The classic Cleopatra. This is like amazing. This is it Frankenstein when I didn't know they had a Frankenstein? Yeah, yes. Is that based on the De Niro movie? Yes. Ah. This is amazing. Is this the showroom? Okay. Oh. Look right here. Monitors a go go. It's got everything labeled. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh. Can nice. I eat a turkey salad sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look, another television set. Yeah. Yes, we're going to do the uh, showroom. Here we go. We're going to go see the showroom. Are you the last re Oh, instead of the lights, you're turning off the compressor. We have an air compressor, too. Every good shop has to have an air compressor. That's right. Now, so look, now we're it's easy to find this place. There's boatloads of parking right on the street, so we parked right here. This is the room before the showroom. This is the room. All right, we're going to go into the room before the showroom. All right, let's go into the room before the showroom. Right, into the room before the showroom. Right, the room before the showroom. More games. Seven twenty. This is the room before the showroom. Two monitor plate choice. You can see it. Back. A showcase. M MFL Blitz and Phoenix. A beautiful side art. Look. It's a fanboy's heaven. A, uh, a T2, but the glass is scratched, so he's going to fix it. I was waiting for the bang. Look, look, oh an assault. God. And it is going out on rental, but I'll need that corner fixed. At least if it says Friday. Look. I never that. No, I didn't actually. I never heard of Razzmatazza. There's a berserk back here. Oh, can we see? Oh, oh, yeah, we're dead in there. The Star Castle, look. So look, the Star Castle. No, no, no. Look. That's the next building. Next. A Red Baron. Adjacent room. A two wheel champion sprint. There's a mini Pac Man. I'm pretty sure that's a Pac Man. Yeah, it could be a, it could be a Black Sand. Terminator. Isn't this great? That's true. Look, there's the Tempest. What do you pay for rent? Oh, you're in here. There he is. And the Galaga. Wait, wait, there's some stuff you guys see in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's, see, let's see if Gene points out the show. I pointed out. Let's see. Yeah, I can show you guys the show. Let's see if he points out. This one. Yes, I said I never saw one before. The Razzmatazz. How many are made? Less than 10, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe 20. I don't know. Wow. A two-player. Obviously, a Tempest-like control. What's Actually, the theming Sega, of it? This is the uh, uh, Star Trek. Is right. it a magic shop? It's like Carnival. Oh, okay. It's like it's a right, sequel Carnival. It has the ducks and... And the bear round. It's got the bear round, just like Carnival. But it's, it's better graphics and stuff. What, what I think happened is, this came out when Sega sold their company to Valley. And so they had... They had made it, and then Bally rejected it, so they never had produced it. Wow. Because remember in 83, when Astron Belt came out, Bally bought Sega? I'm looking for the copyright. It's kind of obscured. I can't quite read it. So this is 83? Yeah. Do you play it on a roll? Do you ever get a chance to Yeah, play I it? played it a few times. It's got an intermittent problem, so it doesn't stay working that long. It's always it's always those sockets on the wrong. It's got a it's weird. It's got a Zaxxon board that's been hacked and modified by the factory, oh. and they use an Astro Blaster soundboard. Fighter pilots needed in sector war. Not the speech board, but the soundboard. Oh, okay. so they, that's they have, a, that's a board this big though. 
Right. So they, they put a, a bracket. If you want, I'll open it up and show it to you. It's and really can you, interesting. Can you open it from the back? Yeah, we can we can get to oh, it. Well, I don't know if you can get back to the camera. If we have time, it's really interesting. We need to see it because nobody's ever seen this before. And this will be fascinating because with only 10, and how many of these are complete? Like none? I'm going to let him do the work. That's it's really place. interesting. Oh, no, and it's the Zaxxon style cabinet. Well, no, is, it's I mean, the Star Trek style. Star Trek. Right. Get a screwdriver. See, I, see, I'm too excited here. This is the dedicated Star Trek cabinet. They didn't make many of them. They made mostly kits. And I'll bet, Gene, you had a boatload of those kits probably over the years. Well, look, there's Donkey Kong Jr. while we're waiting for him. A Tron. A 25-inch uh, time crisis. Over there, there's, I see an ice cold beer. Gene, it looks like you're pretty much keeping... All the, oh, 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 it's oh, hot. a real rare one. Come back here, Clement. We're back. Let's walk in here. Now, here's a real rare one, right there. iRobot. Look, an iRobot, folks. I only had one of them all these years. Okay, now Gene is opening this up. Oh, is he? He's like a surgeon with that screw gun. We're dying. I'm dying to see the Astro. The Astro Blaster Wars. Fighter pilots needed in Scepter Wars. Play Astro Blaster. This kind of connector is in this cage. And then inside of here. Oh my gosh. See, is it, can you see it? Yeah, Tammy, let me bring the camera around. Is there a, a light on this, Tammy? Yeah. Yeah, this is Terry's camera we're using. Look, an Astro Blaster see, soundboard and the interconnect. Yes. And see, it's got a ribbon cable that goes to. I guess the microprocessor's not in here, but it's a, it's one of the card cage soundboards. I can't believe there's no light on this, darn it. I don't see one. Let me turn on my phone light. Thank you. Ah, perfect. Look at that. So look at, they created this interface board. So they can, and see how the bracket's all custom made? Wow. You can tell it's all prototype. There's jumper wires all over the place and... Amazing. And their standard bass and their amplifier from uh, Turbo, and they use that same amplifier for Sony no, and Zaxxon. So. That's a Zaxxon. No, no, this is a, the 5 volts and the, the 12, minus 5 and that's, Yeah, right. And then that's the regular. But that's the same board they used in the Zaxxon. there's no Zaxxon. audio amp on there. It's hmm. right here. This is the audio amp right here. Zaxxon doesn't have an external audio amp. Yeah, but they still use that power supply, believe it or not. Yeah, we just so converted a, uh, just put a new one. So Tammy's, Tammy's learning stuff she doesn't need to know right now, right, Tammy? Thank you for showing that, Gene. You're welcome. And look, look at the number. 076. Hard to guess what, what anything else could be in there. It's got a new Vision Pro monitor in it, though. So that's in there now. But you use the original housing. So you were able to adapt the housing. Yeah, we the original vertical frame. Right. You have to do that now, Gene. Yeah. We got no options so these I, days. I sold this to a guy who was a descendant of the Wrigley family. Right. And he ended up passing away. And um, another dealer, I guess, got all the stuff as part of the estate. He took it to the arcade auction. And I bought it at the arcade auction and bought my game back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, now you're going you're gonna to upset everybody. What did you pay? The auction. Oh, I don't want to say that. Uh, just give us an idea. I don't really remember. Well, first of all, it doesn't matter what you paid because you could sell for whatever you want. Right. It was dead though. Like two hundred bucks. I think it was like three or four. Wow. <sighs> ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. The old days no, of the nobody auctions. Else, nobody else knew what it was. I know. But that see, would never is, happen now. It would, no, 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 no. The the days of bargains at the auctions are gone. They are. They're gone. We all have our auction stories to share. We were just looking at your iRobot back there. Oh, yeah, man. we have to finish oh, fixing that. Is that neat? Wow. Gene, this has been a, an absolute treat. And look, more. More monitors. <laughs> yeah, see, here's ones that we need to still recycle. Yes. Now, see, see what he writes, bad, just like us. The problem is, is I'm lucky I don't have to pay to recycle mine. Well, we right. found a place that we can take them to. Oh. But we have to take them there, but it's not well, far yeah. away. But, but look, we're recycling. We're not throwing them in the dumpster, Absolute, are we, Gene? Absolutely not. Thank you. You know, I used to have the local high school, Glendale High School had a recycling program, an e-waste program. They would bring their truck down here and pick up 10 or 15 pitcher tubes and use the money to support the school. 
but for some reason they stopped doing it. Well, the only thing I heard, the big value is the gift. Obviously, it's full of copper. Right. But now I hear that there's some rare stuff, phosphorus and things in the game, in the picture tubes, that can be used. There's a tank table. Well, a two-player tank. Uh, California Extreme had an eight-person version. Oh, they had that there? I couldn't believe it. It, it wasn't on. Mm -hmm. I saw a video of it. Uh, there's a Red Baron. I showed him. I showed everybody. You saw it when he wasn't here. Hey, you know, I don't know if you remember this, but I called you once to help me fix a game for warranty service call, and you said, as long as it's not a Cinematronics game, Oh. I'll take care of it for you. And it was a Cinematronics game. Oh, Star Castle? Rip off. Rip off. Ugh, can't fix so them. So after that, I stopped selling Cinematronics games. But Just I sold the Star Castle. I can't yeah. sell them anymore. Look, the, the, the Cinematronics games were terrific vector games, but they didn't have any uh, any safety between the logic board and the monitor. Right. So the monitor board would blow up, and then the logic board would go too. So back when we were vending them, we'd have to take the monitor in and the logic board, and then they'd fix them and put them back in. And then six months later, it was blown up again. Right. Oh my gosh, we had so much trouble. But what great games! Ripoff was such a great game. Yeah. Star Castle was a Space great game. Wars. Did you know that Gene started because of me? Now I'm putting my plug in. <laughs> he saw the Cal uh, the uh, expo. He went to the pin expo. Pin box, right? Yeah. And he saw it, and and on how to go in business for yourself. I think you were the only one that. That, that actually took notes. <laughs> I was I was an arcade operator. And <clears throat> what happened is when the arcade business crashed the second time in 93, um, and I realized it probably may not come back. Yes, it, and it didn't. And really. I actually started collecting vintage video games before anybody knew they were worth anything. Only me and John Yates had figured that out. And maybe you did. But, um, so you could buy them cheap still. And I, was, I had an oldies but goodies section in my arcades. And I'd have customers, I had like 10 of them. Battlezone, Star Wars, in the 90s I did this. So I started collecting so old games you, you in the early 90s. You could have possibly been the, the, the first person to start the classic section of the arcades. Other than the one, the Twin Galaxies up in New Hampshire. They kind right. of got Fun the spot. idea years there. Fun spot. Fun but spot. I started this in the Not early 90s. Fun. And I had like 10, I had Centipede, Galaga, and Pac-Man, Tron. I opened an arcade up in San Diego. And when I opened it, I had an oldies but goodies banner made up, and I had like 10 old games in there. Do you hear all these wonderful memories? And we're going to share them with you now, aren't we? So, so now, when uh, the video game business crashed in 93, in 95, I got this huge warehouse to have all my old games, and I started selling them. And the rest is history. And he's made a living. He's uh, A lot of people you saw working in there making a living, just like at TNT. We have our own staff there. Everybody's making a living off of classic games. And and he ha also has his own. You already saw He He won't sell them. He's got games. Yeah, my own, my own games in play. I think you would for your price, wouldn't you, Gene? Not my jumping jack. You'll sell it. Somebody will come along and say, Gene, I've got 10000 no, bucks." Because someone wants a jumping jack, I, I'll find you one. Plus, I have <laughs> a jack in the true. box in the showroom. That's true. That's true. Gene? Got more games back there. Gee, we could spend hours here, but we gotta go. But this Galaga looks like it's almost. Oh, it just came in. Need some bottle yeah, yeah, in the bottom. This needs to be genized. Genized. Is that a good? That's a good. I like one. it. That, that could have been killed, and then I would have owned this place. Yes. <laughs> Is that the other side? Well, that's the showroom. That door that's open. Work for me. For like too many years. A, a right? long time. Too long many time. years. Quite yes, two decades. Good. Close. Really close. close. That's yeah. good. He's That's got some long time uh, employees. And and I see my wife is up here. She's anxious to get to our next destination. And not get a ticket. Right. Exactly. Get a ticket. One last look at That is the look. showroom. Yeah. It's a little bit cleaner. And then we'll then we'll walk out real quick. This is a multi. Oh, a multi. All right. Yes. I thought it was a. Uh, uh, this is the, the future. future. He's got. Look at all these games. Okay. In here. You know the, the, this is the showroom. We have to walk through real quick. The last through the showroom. There's a Ripley's. Look, a beautiful Black Knight. One of my favorites. Limited favorites. edition with the gold foil. Ripley's is. Uh, you know what? I don't know why people didn't go nuts for that. Wonderful, wonderful game. Riverboat Gambler. There's oh, no they made a Batman. Bow and Arrow. Uh, do you know they made a digital one? Yes. Right. I saw one digital version of Bow and Arrow in 1976. That must have been nice. At the show. Yeah, at the show. At the show, a, a digital Bow and Arrow. 
See, this is this is the future, folks, for all there's, of us. There's a, fight. A, a title fight. I got some extra boxers. Do you have the arms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you do. Yeah. We're trying to remake them. I have them. I've got a bunch of dual stock. Well, then I can buy them. From you. Yeah. Yes, you can. The guy just emailed me about them because he bought one and needed. See, here's the Jack, arms. Here's Jack in the box. So you do have them. So we, we don't. You don't have to sell yours. So. Exactly. Still keep getting Jack in the box. Look, a mini. Pac-Man, Marvel. Confidential Mission. This customer wants an original idea. Some people do. You can get them going. You have to remember putting that resistor in. Squeezing through, Todd. I'm not a bad king. Now let's see if he gets an easy. Here, watch. Yeah, he Gina, slipped right through, Gina's and pretty, it didn't even rub. Gina's pretty thin. Wait, you know in Astro Blaster, we called that paint scrapers. You know, the one shot at the end, the bonus round, there's a paint scraper where you squeeze through, scraping the paint on the sides of the arms of the ship. That, they called that oh, yeah, the paint okay. scraper bonus. Somebody, I see you. This is nice. I, I like this really idea. This. The blue on the sides is really sharp. And here's a rare one. Here. You don't see these. Great game. Gorgar and of course all the popular games. This is the Flintstones. Really? Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. It's all original. Oh gosh, usually the girls' arms are all uh, exactly the black all Walmart. Right. This is beautiful. All original. Jeans you got a beautiful. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Uh oh, wait a minute. I bet that's the little woman. Hello. My sister. I got a jazz. Oh, I know. We're Motor coming. Yes. We're coming. Uh, we're coming, sweetheart. We'll be there. Oh. We're late. Rush. Rush the Mace. box. Well, why don't we close this out? Want to say yes. goodbye? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Now, look. Reason to come to California. We're north of L.A. So, uh, let's see, Glendale? Yeah. Glendale. Glendale. And uh, you come up here and visit. Gene will give you the, I think I got a dollar. For, uh, I think I did pretty good. Yeah. I had the better one. I had three different, I, everybody escorted us around, and we got to see some really rare games. We really do appreciate it. It's great to see you. Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, we will bid you adieu. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that. And keep your eyes out. We have one more California trip video to share with you that'll be coming up real soon. But for now, living is good, isn't it? Good night.